Hello everyone, I am Renuka and today I am going to explain you all the topic sorting. Organizing the elements in a particular order is known as sorting. It can be either ascending order or descending order. Then sorting, I will give you an example for sorting. Suppose you want to search a name in your contact list. What we will do? We will search according to the alphabets because the elements are put in the alphabetical order and are sorted out. Uh, there can be another example. If you want to just find out your roll number in your uh, class list, then what we what do we do? We go either number wise or we go either alphabetical wise. So sorting is that process. If you want to search for an element, then you have to uh, opt for sorting process. The sorting process is also used for tree traversals. Let me explain you an example, okay, of what is sorting. This is our uns uh, unsorted array. You can see the number 6, 5, 3, 2, 1 and 4. And this is our sorted array. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. They are in the ascending order. So, uh, before sorting the array was this and after applying the sorting process the array is this. Now, sorting is of 5 types. The first one is bubble sort. The second one is selection sort. The third one is insertion sort. The fourth one is shell sort. And the fifth one is Merge sort. So here I am going to explain the sorting process using bubble sort. Now you can see that this is the list minus 2, 45, 0, 11 and minus 9. Now how the sorting process is continued? First the cursor will uh, compare between these two. Now you can see that minus 2 is less than 45. So no pass. Here, the cursor will compare 45 and 0. Here, 45 is greater than 0. Then, slap. Yes. Now, you can see in the next process, minus 2 and 0 has come this side. Now, again, the sorting process will continue. Now, it will again compare. 0, minus 2 is less than 0. No swapping. 0 is less than 45. No swapping. Now, there is a comparison between 45 and 11. Yes, 11 is smaller than 45. So, there is a swapping between 45 and 11. Okay. Now, again, we will compare 0, minus 2 and 0. No swapping. 0 and 11. 0 is less than 11. No swapping. 11 and 45. 11 is less than 45. No swapping. Now, minus 9 is less than 45. So, yes. Here is this one. This is our result for pass 1. Now, once the element from has reached from the first to the last, the pass 1 is completed. Next, it is pass 2. Now, you can see that this is our result list. Now, again it will start comparing. Minus 2 to 0, no swapping. 0 to 11, 0 is less than 11, no swapping. 11 to minus 9. Minus 9 is less than 11. So there is a swap. Okay. So yes. Here there will be a swap. Okay. Now this is our result list. It has reached till the ninth one. Now uh, minus 9 is less than 45. So no problem. I mean 11 is less than 45. So no problem. No more pass. Now comes to pass 3. Here you can see the list. Minus 2, 0, minus 9, 11, 45. Here, comparison between minus 2 and 0. Minus 2 is less than 0. No swapping. 0 and minus 9. Now, you can see that 0 is greater than minus 9, right? So, there is a swapping. Minus 9 is moved to this side, okay? Now, we will go to pass 4. Here, minus 2 and minus 9. You know that in integers... Minus 2 is greater than minus 9. So yes, there is a swapping. And minus 9 has moved this side. Okay. Now you can compare to minus 2 is less than 0. 0 is less than 11. And 11 is less than 45. So it goes in an ascending order. Okay. Okay. So after seeing this example, let me explain you the logic. The logic behind bubble sort is compare and swap. If the ith gel element is greater than the jth element, it will swap until it reaches the last value. Otherwise, no swap is there. Okay, now I am going to explain you all the algorithm on bubble sort. First, 
we will give bubble sort of array. This is defining the statement. Next, for all the elements in the list, as we are going to give the number of elements in the list, we will give for all the elements in the list. If left element is greater than light, right element, as I said, it's compare and swap. As I explained in the previous example, if the first, if the left element is greater than the light, right element, swap it, or else no change. And at the end, we will give end bubble sort. I mean, we will end the process of the bubble sorting. Okay. Now this is the program on bubble sort. We will define the bubble sort uh, model now of array so i am giving define bubble sort of array next for i in range of len of array we will give an array right for the length of the array for i in range of and for j in range of 0 comma len of array minus 1 minus i and minus 1 that means for j in the range of 0 comma length of the entire array minus i means cutting up every element like uh, we will do swapping right like that now, if array of i greater than ar array of a range of j plus 1, temp is equals to array of j, array of j is equals to array of j plus 1. We have given this because for after comparing with one element j, it will swap to the next element. Okay, so j plus 1. Array of j plus 1 is equals to temp means that value will get again assigned to temp after swapping. Now, data is equals to, I am giving an empty list, empty list assigned to data here. Now, I will give n is equals to int of input of n to the total number of elements. So, here I, in this statement, I will give the number of elements to be entered for bubble sorting. Next, print of enter each element. Now, I will enter each element into the array. Next, for i in range of n, for the number of elements in the, in the list or an array, in the array next data dot append of int of input of like after swapping we will change the values right so i am giving data dot append of so that that value will be appended okay next print list created of data so here what is happening is i have given the list i mean i have given the number of elements sorry here actually what happens is the numbers which i am giving in the array will get appended and in the second one, print list created of data. Here what happens is, all the elements which I have given in this one will get created into a list. Now, bubble sort of data. I have given the function here, bubble sort of data. Now, sorting will uh, happen. And next, I will print the sorted array in ascending order of data. Means of this empty list. Okay. We have written the program. Now this is the output for our program. Enter total number of elements. I have entered number 8. Sorry, it is, it is 6. Okay, now I am going to enter each element. I have entered 12, minus 2, 15, 8, minus 89, 66 and minus 8. I have entered 6 elements. Now, as we have given there, list created to print the list created. Now the list created is printed here. Next, sorted array in ascending order. As I have uh, already explained you in the previous example, in the same way, swapping was done and the sorting is done and this is our output. Minus 89, minus 8, minus 2, 12, 15 and 66. It's in an ascending order. This, this is all about our bubble sort program. Thank you.